Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about childless couples. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, I also would like to apologize for the many people that have emailed me. I'm so sorry, but I'm unable to answer all of your emails and majority of them will not be answered, but I'm, I'm reading them and I'm praying for those who have asked for prayers. So I am praying, I am doing something, but I'm unable at this time to answer all the emails. I've got hundreds of email that I will, I'm just not able to answer at this time especially because, you know, the Lord is still training me, still teaching me, molding me. And I've got to study on many days. I'm, I'm studying, I'm learning, he's teaching me something. And so this is where I'm at at this stage. And so this is why I'm, I'm unable to answer all the email along with all the other things that I have to do, you know, looking after my family and so forth. So I really apologize. I'm not ignoring you. I do appreciate um, you and I thank God and I pray for you all every day. But as I've said, I'm just not able to answer the hundreds of emails that I've received. Okay, right. This morning, I'll be talking about childless couples. On the 17th of October, 21, I heard people in the spiritual realm saying Romania has stopped us from adopting it seemed as if there were many people who were adopting in Romania. And so they, you know, they were speaking that Romania has now stopped them from adopting. So it's not no longer allowed for other people from other countries to adopt children in Romania. This is what I've heard in the spiritual realm. And there were many people who were childless and would like to adopt, but they would rather to adopt children from other countries or abroad. I found it very interesting that the Lord has allowed me to hear this in the spiritual realm because it was only weeks ago that the Lord has been showing me, you know, and telling me of many people who do not have children of their own. And I felt as though the Lord wanted them to look along the lines of adoption. There are many children out there who need a home, who need a loving home and family and being adopted may be their only hope. This is what the Lord has been revealing to me and showing me and then the Lord spoken to me as I've said after he had spoken these words to me. And I've seen many people in this country alone who never have children. And now they are at the mercy of the government to look after them. But if they've had adopted a child, these children may be the ones to look after them. It's not guaranteed, but these children may be the ones to look after them and they would not have to solely rely upon the government. There are many different reasons why some people do not have children, but there are some who want to, you know, there are some who want their freedom 
and want to be able to spend their money on themselves. But children are inheritance, are an inheritance. They are a blessing from God. And if you invest in them, you will reap the reward. I have seen single people who have also adopted children. And so even if you're single and you can, you know, adopt a child, rather than being on your own, not, you know, being able to have your own children. And, you know, there's many children out there needing a home. And so because you're not able to have your own children, you know, adopt a child, take a child in. Sometimes God allow these things to happen, you know, that others will not be able to conceive and to have their own children for them to look at the many children who are out there who need a home as well. And so this is what the Lord has been speaking to me and has laid upon my heart and the Lord has brought it up again to me about, you know, these many people who are childless. I've seen the elderly, you know, struggling, suffering, as I've said, at the mercy who are at the mercy of the government because they have no children and they have no family, no one to look after them, no one to even visit them in the hospital, absolutely no one. And so if you can love a child and take a child into your home, you know, God will bless you for it. As I've said, God allow these things to happen. God allow many people to not have children of their home because there's other children who are out there who also need a home as well. And so these are my few words for today. But I'd like to say if there's anyone out there who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I'd like to invite you to receive the Lord today as your savior before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you today to receive the Lord today before it's too late for you. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage them also to receive the Lord today, to turn to him again before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? And so I'm encouraging you again to receive the Lord today, to turn to him and let your light shine for all men to see and glorify the Father which is in heaven. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. The Bible describes them as being lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of the world and the things of God. I want to encourage you today to turn to the Lord again, to seek him today before it's too late for you. Tomorrow, as I've said, is not promised to you. It's not promised to any of us and we could die at any time. And so I want to encourage you to turn away from the things of the world. The word of the Lord said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let your light so shine that all men will see and glorify the Father which is in heaven. For the world is watching us as believers, as children of God. They are watching us, the lifestyle, the lifestyle that we are living. They are watching us. And so let us live a life that is worthy unto the Lord and that will bring his name glory and honor. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.